Jarvis, it's been a while, How's man. How's it going? Today, I bring Jarvis back to Fortnite. I managed to convince him to do something he's never done before. An exclusive interview to reveal what happened four years ago. His permanent ban, his Fortnite journey, and what could be next for his future. Yeah, it's been a, been a long time. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So today, I'm going to ask you some questions that the Fortnite community are really going to want to know. Yeah. I'm and excited. I guess we'll start with, I mean, this one's a little bit tough, but we'll start with this. Have you been playing Fortnite since your ban at all? Like off stream, just kind of like, <laughs> you, you know, like uh, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but it, it is like, I know, I'm yeah. curious. I am curious. Like, have you played it at all since you've been banned? So, I mean, legally speaking, no, I haven't, I have not been playing um, off stream, off camera at all. Haven't touched the controller uh since uh since, since you know i've been permanently banned from the game um you guys can you know take that whichever way you gotcha. want but, gotcha. um, no no, no. We, yeah. we understand we understand uh, for sure yeah. you pretty much played all of chapter one like you got banned yeah. right in the beginning of chapter two so you didn't even really get right to the experience yeah. that and yeah. at the time like you were one of the best controller players in the world on the come up every video you uploaded like 700 800 sometimes even millions of views yeah. per video and like just to give you some perspective like at the time like maybe you weren't as big as like let's say ninja or like lachlan but like you were among the top youtubers of fortnite and it was like it was going really well and then of course one day a video went up and it kind of yeah. changed your entire life trajectory uh, mm -hmm. For better and for worse, because you know we know that you you've sure. gotten into boxing a lot of different stuff and kind of forced you to break out of the the Fortnite shell. But for the first time in a long time, I guess uh, I just want to ask you some questions about this video. And a lot of people probably know what video we're talking about is video where you used Aimbot on a on a fresh mm -hmm. account for content. It wasn't malicious, right? So yeah. how did the video idea come up? Like, what what's the backstory behind that? kind of happened you know obviously with creating content you're always trying to you know you're looking at the views on the videos and trying to <clears throat> maximize them and make the best videos you can the most entertaining videos videos that have like never been done before in that sense and it was kind of at a stage in fortnite where there wasn't a lot of content around the game uh, that i could make that i couldn't think of so the videos that i was making were not my favorite videos i wasn't enjoying it too much i wasn't having a lot of fun making those videos and um you know i thought what what can i do to kind of entertain people make um something that's like never been done before that can get a lot of views on youtube you know that's obviously the main goal yeah so i was like searching searching i saw stuff about um you know aimbot and hacking in games and uh i saw other people who had done it on youtube but what i didn't really go into which i probably should have done uh was the way they filmed the videos they weren't the actual ones using aimbot it mm. was um it was like a random duo um essentially probably someone they knew to get in the same game as them yeah I should have probably done a little more research. Yeah, <laughs> doing that. So just to give like perspective, like you 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 hopped on an alt account. It was on a new yeah. PC. Like you expected to get banned. Obviously, the ban system is very yeah. strong on Fortnite. You told people not to use aimbot. Like you were discouraging it in yeah. the video. Before we kill anyone, I really just want to say, never use aimbot. Okay, never ever use aimbot in your whole life. And uh, you were kind of trying to, uh, you know, you played a few games with normal aim and. To try to like go under the radar and then you started using the aimbot for the content and like at the end of the video like you like look very excited like you're very like pumped up yeah. it was it was a in i guess it was like an exciting video because it was new it felt like a little bit dangerous <laughs> I, I i you said it earlier but it's like you were chasing the content rush yeah. you're in a period 100%. where you didn't like what you were uploading you're trying to take it to the next level but like obviously Thinking back now, like you know how much of a stake that <laughs> yeah. was. I was kind of in like a bubble, so I didn't really see the whole big picture. I was kind of just focusing, like zoned in on, you know, content, trying to make good videos, better videos every time. So I wasn't really kind of got caught up in that like cycle. Yeah, and, and I believe that. So that takes me to my next question. 
walk me through the day when you like posted that video because obviously like your brother's involved you have editors like who saw the video before yeah. it went live did anybody try to talk you out of posting it or was it just like kind of everyone going through the motion so obviously i was in phase clan at that time and um a lot of people were thinking why didn't you know phase say something to you but the thing is when um with me in particular i was kind of you know my own person my own brand so i was doing my own thing they don't check every single video you post and you know the day i posted it i got you know no one really said anything the editor that i had at the time all he his focus was purely just on editing he didn't really have an opinion on the content i guess i all i had shown frazier was look at these videos and the views they had gotten and i'm gonna make something like that and it's gonna do great and you know that's what he saw that's why i showed him so yeah that, i mean that 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 makes perfect sense um and it's funny like you realize now the videos that you saw were done like they finessed it right they didn't yeah exactly. actually use it themselves you know a random duo talk yep. to me about because you didn't get instantly banned right you got you got no. banned like a few weeks later in the beginning of chapter two how how did you find out and how did you feel on that day like what was the news like so it was actually crazy i actually made two videos i, I made i made two of the aimbot videos because the first one did so well youtube didn't take it down fortnite didn't try to take it down so i was like you know it's I posted this video I've got there's been no problems no backlash with it so I'll do another one I made another one and waited I think it was another uh, week or so and then chapter two came out and I had posted two or three videos um, of playing chapter two just like um, standard normal videos yeah. and then how was it that I found out I think it was through my I think it was either through my manager or i was looking at my support creator code i tried to log in onto that and it said you know this has been deactivated disabled i'm not sure why um i checked my emails and i had got an email from epic games saying uh your account's been banned indefinitely that's what it said and so i called up my manager i was like what is going on um phase and fortnite you know they have connections so i was able to find out pretty quickly the the videos that I had been making the the aimbot videos um fortnite's made up of a bunch of departments and a certain department um in the company said this is not allowed you know this is breaking their terms of service and it has to be done and at the time did you think this was going to be permanent, like just straight up, no second chance? Or did you still like have hope that something could be done? No, yeah, I had hope that something could be done. You know, I was trying to get across to them that I wasn't using, you know, aimbot in a malicious way or I hadn't, I had never been, I had never used it before. And I remember that day, um, it was like, a, it was a Monday and uh usually on mondays back then me and my brother we had a whiteboard we would uh plan our week out plan videos we wanted to make and i remember just sitting there and i was just stuck i was like what videos can i make now you know fortnite had been my whole life i had been playing this game religiously every day 24 7 for the last two three uh, how many years it was and uh I just was like nervous, scared, just not sure what I was going to do. So do you still have hope that like, let's say like, I don't know, five years down the line, a couple more years down the line that eventually there'll be an opportunity for you to get back into Fortnite. And would you even, would you want, like if, if your band got removed today, would you create a Fortnite video? Like, would you try to get back into it? Is that something that you feel hundred like percent? No, I mean, I, genuinely love that game so much that was you know i've been a gamer ever since i was a child gaming is you know it's in my blood it's in my veins like um if i could ever play that game again and create a video um i would love to do that because there's so many people that used to watch my fortnite videos and you know i get it all the time every time uh, they come up to me in public they're like jarvis we want to see you play fortnite so if i was able to ever do that i know it would make so many people happy and it's a game i 
just love playing genuinely and you know creating content around stuff that is around things that you enjoy doing it, it's just it's just um it's just better i got you uh, i want to ask you a couple yeah. more quick questions what was your favorite season of fortnite um damn it's so hard to remember the seasons in particular um the christmas christmas one with the you know you got the planes oh season uh, seven chapter one season seven chapter one yeah that was definitely and what about up there. chapter three season one when they added the spy man gloves you didn't play that right <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, that's probably my favorite with Iron Man and with, with the Avengers. Team oh, yeah, chapter two. Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got How many chapters? What even chapter are we on now? We're on chapter four, know. season four. And just to give you a rundown. Chapter four. Yeah. Oh my God. Next month, we're going to have a one month season where we go back to chapter one. That's what everyone's wouldn't saying. It, wouldn't it be crazy? This is just an idea I'm going to sh- put in the universe if Fortnite unbanned me for that one month. I mean, technically, we're going back in time before Technically, we're going back in time. So, so so listen, listen. I'll let you, like, have this, like, you know, finishing moment. If you just want to say anything to the Fortnite community, anything to anyone watching, who knows who's watching, maybe someone from Epic who might be able to... I mean, you've been banned for four years, man. Like... Four years, Four years. Jeez. Have at it. Have Um, at it. So, it's not Donald Mustard, is it, anymore? He's not the... Uh, no, no. Down. Maybe he was the one so, keeping you banned. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Now he's stepped down. Who knows? You know, if there's any Epic Games employees, Fortnite employees um, that are listening, I think, you know, this would be a great time. Even if it's not, if it was an unbanned for, say, this one-month period whilst Fortnite is, you know, going back in time, um, you know, it would be awesome to create just one more video playing that game being able to pick up the controller again and crank some 90s uh on fortnite one more time it would be awesome and i'm sure a lot of the people and you know the fortnite community would love to see that i completely agree jarvis thank you so much for this interview guys be sure to go show him some love on his youtube channel we'll see you next time guys peace all right peace out